Here we've got a Chipman Phaeton 4400H. It's a 2024 model here at the 2024 FRVTA Florida RV Super Show in Tampa, Florida. Now, see the nice looking front cap there? And here's the show price as of the show today in January 2024. Here we've got your hydraulic leveling system pump. And you can see the bays right here. We actually have two bays here with a pull-out sunning tray. Okay. Look at how big that is. Here is your potable tank for your hot, for hot water. For your fresh water tank. This is a bay I could literally crawl inside with your transfer switch. It's just enormous. It's just really big. All right. Coming back here, we have small, little small electric bay there as well as looks like your starting battery for your coach right here. You see? Built by Tiffin. This is the Clayton SSH series. And here is your refrigerator access right there. And here is your TV, outside TV with sound bar. Right there. See how nicely that closes there? These bays close really nice. You can see a little bit of a swing shut. And there they go. Let's go inside and see what's here. All right. All right. So, uh, see a quick pan to the front here. And a nice window by the fashion you see here. And here, see, we actually have a screen when you're coming in here. And it's a screen here, so you don't have to bend over and strain your neck uh, to operate the, the controls. There's a wireless control here for your phone. And, wow, look at this way this uh, dash here wraps around. It's a digital dash, uh-huh. Yes, a digital dash, but it's actually a phony panel right here. Yes, it just makes it look like it's Makes real. it look like it's really on. Kind of cool, they have the QVC codes for the, uh, for if you need help. Well, if you want to stand and get more information about this model before you decide to buy it. Here, we have the LCI electronic leveling system, your air horn, your dump, your, your uh, airbag dump, mirror controls. Here on this side here is your USB-C, USB-A, your parking brake, all important. And we have a little drawer right here. And you also have your HV controls here. I'm not exactly sure this is, yeah, we have a little thing you actually put your phone into. Um, I'll show you right here. It's good enough for even for my phone to sit right there. Uh, and you want to keep your phone there. On this side here, we have a little 12-volt socket here. And there's basically your, you know, there's fans over here, so you got a little fan control. And you have a TV over the cab. Mostly probably functional. So this has a drop-down bunk. Uh, so I imagine that that would be where you would um, watch TV in that position. Or when you're down here. There's a teen LTE booster over there. And here are some additional controls and outlets right there. Here, and as usual for most Tiffins, you've got your slide out control here and your slide out control here. So you'll have to break out your phone to open and close the slides. And look, it's Murray. Hey, take a look down here how nice and wide open this is. Look at the ceiling, how they've decorated it. The mirror, it looks really beautiful. And uh, even the valances, if you notice, they have a nice little curvature to them, if you can see right here. So, so which really size some, should we start really on? Really some eye-catching stuff. Well, let's start over here. We do have some cabinets up above. There's three here that pass through. And then this fourth one in the living room area is a singular cabinet. Now, this here is a bed. But you have options. You can exchange these two pieces for theater seating and this one for a recliner. But right now it's a stationary class. It flips out to a trifold bed. Over on the other side, you have your Televator TV set. And you also have a power strip over there in the corner. And this one here also makes out to a bed. I did not see an option to change these seats, but there may be one. Well, also, it should be noted, there's a little storage area right here. And on the yeah. side of the couch on that and one side. side on this side too, a little storage area. Moving down into the kitchen, on the top here, we'll go across the top. We do have cabinet with pull-out slide. We do have, of course, 
our thin cue microwave with convention the oven. Uh, convention oven with mm -hmm. the accessories. And then we have a place for our glasses and our dishes. And look, and we found the signature. We found the signature. Happy Trails, Bob and Judy Tiffin. Yes, that's what so it is. What was it signed? I'm just curious. Is it signed? 1923. 23. So not so, too long ago. New coach. Talk about a new coach. Okay, so over here we do have our sink. As you can see, we have the small and the larger side with the covers up if you need more counter space. We also have the induction top stove with a fold back counter. And you just pull it right back down and block it off if you want more counter space. And we also have a little horizontal power strip there mm -hmm. and a sink to, uh, soap dispenser for the sink. Yes, we also have an island that pulls out so you have more space. And in that cabinet, we actually have three drawers. This one has the standard, one of the things that comes standard with most of the tippins is your utensil drawer with the spaces for your spoons, knives, and forks. And another drawer, and one drawer that's a little bit deeper here on the bottom. Underneath the stove here, you have your dishwasher. Blends okay. right in, you think it's a cabinet in the first. And you have a small drawer underneath. Small but long. Beneath the sink, you have you guessed it, a sponge drawer. Sponge drawer. And you sponge drawer, sponge drawer square pants. <laughs> and below here you have your space five hundred dollar trash kitchen. can. Yeah, yeah. and some and plastic it's awesome, too. Free plastic. Yeah, good to wrap a dead body in. <laughs> hey, one thing you notice there's actually a touch panel in the kitchen here for doing controls there. So you know, you can touch home and you can control fans as well as See what the level of your tents are. Okay. Over on the dinette side, we have a table and chairs. We'll start at the top. We have three cabinets overhead here. These two are pass through. The last one's identical, except that it's an enclosed one piece cabinet. And hey, look, another touch screen right here. And what do you think about these lights here? They're different. You know, sometimes I always wonder, they look so pretty and they look so nice, but I always wonder about dusting some of this stuff, you know, just the more ceases, the more bends, you mm. know, more, more, more dust collectors. And I'm not in the dust collectors, I'm into efficiency. Okay, over here, we do have our table. It does pull in and pull out and extend for more people. There is a drawer here. And then down below there is a cabinet with an adjustable shelf. And it was also a cabinet, two cabinets, or two doors underneath right here. the dinette table. Yes, it looks like there's a speaker under there. That's probably the subwoofer. Yes. And uh, the nice thing about this, these types of setups, if you work from home, this makes a nice L-shaped uh, computer area. Mm -hmm. You can put a printer down there and you got plenty of space. Or as I said, it's the dining area, so you can make it what you want. Um, very versatile. And on this side you have some additional drawers. And a filing cabinet. And a filing cabinet if you have your office as I mentioned. So, and of course you have some electrical, extra electrical outlets here that pop up and you can shut them. Okay, also included in the dining kitchen area is this lovely pantry with slide out trays. You got one, two, three, four, five, six of them, so plenty of plenty of room. You have your refrigerator, and you do have a, a water dispenser here. You sure it's not a microwave? Well, O thirty-seven. Yeah, that's how cold it is. So very nice refrigerator. It's as cold as ice. Down below is the freezer, and it does have the drawer here and the ice makers down here. Across the way is the bathroom, and look, they actually put a cover on this toilet. <laughs> so we're just gonna shut that for a minute. Uh, let me turn on the light here. Turn on the light. I thought I had it on, but I there guess you go. maybe it times out. I don't know. Anyway, you have a small little cabinet here. You have the medicine cabinet on a triangle area. With a corner cabinet. Yes. And then you also have another little cabinet here for sh more shorter stuff. Not confused. This looks like the toilet roll, roll holder, but I guess it's That's really... That's a towel holder. Towel bar. Towel holder. Yes, you can put your hand towels there. But it's the exact same shape as the actual toilet holder. Yes, but you notice it's smaller. 
it's just smaller but man but you know from the angle it almost looks like the same look at that it's like ooh, look well like. i guess it matches so you can tell paper toilet paper up here i guess i mean no reason why you don't can okay so we have our sink our soap dispenser and you know i'm really surprised folks i'm going to say this and then i'm going to regret it i'm surprised ben hasn't tried to figure out how to fill it up yet it so probably he, screws thinking. up and pops down. I'm not going to go crazy. <laughs> anyway, you got a little bit of space there, but you got your normal tubes and drain there. And look, look he's looking. Uh, he's I mean, looking. See, there's the uh, there's the little tank for the soap dispenser. So yeah, I figured it out. Okay, and you also have a cabinet here. Not, maybe some aspirins and stuff like well, that. Medicine cabinet, but a little lower. Yeah, it's not a lot of space for, in there. Medicines for your kids, so they can yeah. access them easier. Now the bathroom. Yeah, the toilet's a little tight because if you look where my feet are, just normally sitting here on the toilet. Uh, if you shut that door, you're going to hit my feet, so I'd have to put them in here. Obviously, if it's just Ben and me, it's not a big deal, but if you have company over, it might be a little tight. Okay, Ben, you're up. What's this? This is your touchscreen control, centrally. I mean, there are touchscreens literally all over this couch, but this is centrally located for all your controls that are hooked up to the system, okay? But you've got your lighting, electrical, air conditioning, slide outs, and other things like that, okay? Now, now moving on to the bedroom. Yeah, but, but, but question, you know, uh, it seems like almost every coach that we've seen this year has the touch screens, and uh, I kind of wonder, what do you think about, is there any kind of radio or cell interference that can happen with these programs with your Not lights and stuff? I'm, these are all hardwired. These, these okay. controls are, at least, you know, the ones I'm, I'm sure you sure are, they, I'm not exactly sure if they're wired or if they're radio. There is there's always possible for wireless devices to have radio interference, but as okay. far as I know, it hasn't, I didn't see anything that actually has it okay. happened yet. Okay, I was curious. Okay, now this is really an interesting headboard. It goes all the way to the top. Nice uh, diagonal lines or horizontal lines, not diagonal. There are four cabinets above the bed. Four cabinet doors anyway, four but two doors. actual cabinets. Right, and uh, they basically are divided in the middle there. So you got two pass-throughs on either side. You pass through this one and this one, or that one and that one. And what do you think about these bedroom balances here? Well, as I said, I kind of like the uh, I like the pattern, but I, 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 don't I don't like know. the way they seem to cut off the window. Well, yeah, they do cut off the window a little bit. Not too much, because the black's right there, but yeah. They I mean, they're probably to be a, a narrower smaller. material, so that yeah. you can have more of a window view. I agree. I agree. And I guess it's a, it's a pattern that may or may not be attracted to cats. It has a bit of a rough surface. Now, there is touch screens on either side of the bed, so... When he turns the lights off and you want to stay awake, you can turn them back on and you can have light wars. Light <laughs> unfortunately, wars, huh? unfortunately, I see that happening, so I'm not going to go there. You well, I'm sure we'd have a few times you'd battle each other. Yeah, we actually have uh, cell phone connections to ours, which you probably can get here. And uh, he'll turn them off, I can turn them on. So <laughs> have fun with that, folks. Anyway, we do have our outlets here on either side for our phones. And we have a small drawer below it on either side. And something as usual that we haven't seen so far is a ceiling fan. Uh, can you walk under it? Well, let's see. Ben 6'6. Six, six. Let's see. Can you do the ceiling fan test? Ouch. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that probably would come down if we owned the coach. But I would say if you're 6'4, you're good. But 6'6 six, six doesn't work. Okay, over here we have our TV set. Below it, we have, haha, -ha, we have our electronic devices for our TV. A Blu ray and a Wally satellite dish receiver. Right? And over here, I believe, it's, I'm guessing the hamper. There we go, a hamper. And it looks like we have two drawers right here. And I think they're pretty much the same size. Soft clothes. Yes. Over here, we have two cabinets, they are pass through. That's kind of cool. I can play. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice it also adds us to Nastas. All right. We have four identical drawers here. I'm just going to open the top two so you can get a look at them. And the bottom are identical. Okay. We're going to move on to the master bath. And the first thing I know is I'm looking at this nice clean entranceway. And look what I see. Grab wheel? I know what it is, but. 
It's kind of funny to have that sticking out at night. I can see myself hitting that. But there's your towel hand towel rack. You do have another light switch over on this side. And you do have cabinets that open from left to right. And then this one is right to left. Are they interconnected? They are pass through. You can reach through either side. You do have double sink vanity. Lovely bash flash but with some outlets there in the middle. And we, also, the and we also have two cabinets under the sink that are identical. And then we have three drawers. The first one's the smallest one. And then the other two are of identical size. And I'm not sure she mentioned it, but we actually have two sets of soap dispensers and two outlets in the center. Okay. Moving over to this side, I see a shower. Now, Marie's door down there first, just I'm so we saw a contrast. First. Okay. Now, one thing is for sure, this is missing a shower head. Okay, I sit fine. I can pull my, no, I can't pull myself out. This is a towel rack again. If you're taking a shower, you're gonna have to take the towel out. Where are you gonna lay it? I mean, you're gonna lay it on the toilet, over the bar, probably over here is where I lay it, probably over the top. But uh, and then, you know, when after you shower and dry, you hang it back up in here, but it's kind of watery already, so it seems to me it would stay damp. That's just well, you my do thinking. have a bar behind you. Good. Uh, screwdriver, please. No, the bar right there. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, now let's let me try this. Okay. A little slow with that one, aren't you? <laughs> here we have my test, and you see, um, well, see, I don't exactly have my shower thing right here, but I'll have to make do. Uh, now hear this. Now hear this. This shower is an 8 out of 10. Because, hey, it's missing a shower head, but actually it, that's no detriment. It's sufficient for height. I can get up here. But it's got this annoying DTM bar and this towel bar in the shower, which to me anyway, I feel it truths too not much into the shower. Okay. We have a toilet right next to it, and uh, people call it a commode, people call it all kinds of things. It's a toilet, folks. People call it the head sometimes. The head. Sorry, that's not a head. This is a head. Um, okay, we have a cabinet above. About six inches deep. We have here, you can get down and, and see the inner workings of the toilet. I don't think it's a hamper. <laughs> no, but you can go down there and say it's leaking or there's something you could be easily see it in. I kind of like that. And now, see what's back here, though? Here's your flush. Yeah, so I'm sitting here, and I gotta go back here to flush. That's a little awkward. Yeah, that, or I gotta stand up, or switch around and hit it. It's not the best place. It would've been nice if it had been over here, a little more accessible. Okay, look at this closet. First off, kudos for whoever put the lights in the bar. You can really see everything. That's really nice. You got a nice shelf up here. You have a safe. Do you feel safe? I okay. Feel, I it feel goes, safe now. It goes all the way back there. And then over here you have a small area. And I'm not sure what's behind door number one, but I think it's just an access panel. I think it's just an access panel. And it's a little, it's so a little what's, to your, what's to your left there? Okay, that's where I'm heading. There are a bunch of switches back here first. More switches? Yes, yeah, switches. Why don't you crawl back there and I'll hold Well, the those are just uh, the GFI boxes and outlets. So I just, if you want to sit there and have charge your devices back here, you can do that. Okay, here we go. There's our fuse box and two shelves. And then you have a couple drawers here. And here's our bunk over tab ladder. And then you have a small drawer on the bottom. They used every inch of that space, and they are soft clothes. Now on this side, I'll give you one yes. It's a washer dryer or washer dryer prep. There we go. Washer dryer with a small drawer down here. So that's the washing machine on the bottom, the dryer's up top, right? I doubt that's true. How can you tell? <laughs> this washing machine has been, is winterized. I thought it was a splendid. It is. It is. Well, that's it. That's the uh, walkthrough of this coach. Uh, we hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. And we hope to welcome you to our family of subscribers.
Until next time, remember to open the doors to adventure. And start all your journeys with... The RVTs. Have a great day.